and pulled us this week. Uh, I'm a business rep with the IAM uh, here in Toronto, and uh, one of the contracts that I served up until yesterday was with a group of uh, 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 members that uh, push uh, wheelchairs in Terminal 1 and Terminal 3 uh, for the disabled passengers. This is a group uh, you know, that uh, has done their job well. Uh, nothing, uh, there, there, there's no, uh, no issues with the way they perform. The only thing was that apparently uh, they make too much money. And uh, when I say they make too much money, uh, is, uh, they make more than minimum wage. Uh, up until yesterday, they were earning $10.93 an hour. Um, Somehow, a lot of these people uh, support a family on this. Uh, I know personal, personally, uh, one uh, one of our shop stewards uh, was raising two little girls and a wife uh, on, on 10.93 an hour. And just to put that in perspective, that's 1,225 dollars to take home a month. Um, he cannot, he could not survive unless he worked a, a lot of overtime. Obviously, uh, so he, he was forced to work overtime, but uh, that, that's not even that wasn't even the issue. The issue was uh, that the GTAA here uh, puts this uh, puts this job function up for tender every well, it looks like every three years, and uh, they're not looking after the best interest of our members or, or anyone in this community. They're, all they're looking after is the best interest of the airlines. So they're they're looking for the lowest wage uh, competitor to, to take over this contract, which is what they did. I won't name names because it's not the companies themselves that are at fault here. I, I think the blame lies with the uh, GEA for allowing this process. Uh, and uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, these 250 members at this wheelchair company uh, up until yesterday, today it's the new company that took over. They hired 140 of the former of our former members, and another 110 or so uh, new members. Uh, they're all working for $10.25 an hour, which is the Ontario minimum wage. No benefits uh, for two years, and no raises for two years. Uh, it's a pretty sad situation, um, and uh, you know it, it, it can't continue. In three years, when these people hopefully you know, have moved up into pay scales uh, a little bit, and, and I mean, in three years, their pay scale actually brings it to ten dollars and thirty-four cents an hour, so nine hey. cents above minimum wage. Uh, they'll be competing again against someone that, that is going to be paying even less than that wage. So it, it's a it's a vicious cycle, it cannot continue. Uh, we need some sort of legislation or some sort of agreement from the GTAA, from the, from, or from the airport authority here. That this will that this cycle will stop. Uh, you know, uh, people cannot afford to uh, to live and, and come here to work. I mean, uh, it's not just it's not just a minimum wage. I mean, it's it's an additional hour. Or as, as as you guys know, it's an additional half hour to get into the terminal, half hour to get home, which obviously is work for free. Uh, you know, it's it, it cannot continue. So hopefully we can. Uh, Put some sort of pressure on this uh, airport authority to uh, finally address uh, a working wage. Anyways, uh, I think that's, uh, that's it. Any questions or anyone has? No? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, brother.